Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. All right, so we've got a question from a fellow boater. Stormer asks, Jeff, uh, regarding the Victron Smart Battery Protect, what kind of voltage or battery percentage do you usually set out for the cutout at? It's just a single house battery at 120 amp hours. <sighs> tough question. Good one, but tough. Mm, okay. So we all know that um, generally for flooded lead acid batteries, generally the floor is about 50% of DOD, depth of discharge. So 100% full battery, 0% full battery, 50% right in the middle is sort of a healthy sort of point where you're going to have reasonable amount of cycles and a reasonable amount of depth of discharge. Now, naturally, if you discharge your battery only from 100% to 90%, you'd have way more cycles, but you're constantly having to recharge. So it's all about finding that balance between, you know, just stopping discharging your battery at 90% or stopping discharging your battery at zero. And generally, the compromise with flooded lead-acid batteries is about 50%. Now, we also know that AGM batteries, which are absorbed glass mat batteries, still lead-acid, not flooded, Right? So in here with an AGM battery, the electrolyte is in a glass mat. You can go deeper on the depth of discharge. Some folks are going to bring it down to 30% and it's going to be for them a way to compromise, get more usable batter, battery out of the battery or capacity and doing so knowing that they're going to sacrifice battery life. Because remember, the deeper you go on the discharge, the harder it is on the battery. Okay, fine. So where do we set ourselves for this sort of alarm or this set point? I would say that anywhere between 30% and 50%. It really depends on how often do you go to 50 and how often do you go to 30. If you never go to 50 and you always stop discharging your battery around 60%, some of the boaters that I know stop discharging even at 70, that's their choice. Well, then maybe 50% is plenty, right? Because you don't want to have something constantly alarming because over time uh, you're going to start disregarding that information. So you want this to be exceptions, right? Like it never happens and then when it does you react to it. So maybe if you're discharging your battery to 60-70% and rarely to 50 then maybe put 50 as the threshold or you might be going to 50, 40, 35 all the time then set 30% of the threshold. And again, you always want to give yourself a buffer, right? It's a little bit like a gas tank. You know, the gas tank might be rated at 70 liters, let's say, but there might be your gauge is giving you says zero, but there's still a little bit more fuel in the tank. The lowest I would think is reasonable for an AGM battery, and this should never happen, but when it does, it's serious and there's no turning back, meaning you got to deal with it right away, would be 20%. So it cannot be lower than 20%, but that's pretty damn low. Um, so maybe bring it to 30 and if you don't use your battery as deep, then maybe stop at 50. So good question, but there's no easy answer. There's no right answer and a wrong answer. It really depends on how you use your battery bank every day. So great question, Stormer, and thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.